Okay, so I just wanted to take a second to talk about the 12 principles of multimedia learning, which were created by Dr. Richard Mayer. So Dr. Mayer developed these principles over the course of many years and through quite a bit of research. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the coherence principle, which says that people learn better when extraneous words, pictures, and sounds are excluded rather than included. What this is saying is to avoid extraneous pictures such as clip art or anything that's not directly related to the instructional material. The next one is the signaling principle, which says that people learn better when cues that highlight the organization of essential material are added. So this is just saying to use a proper heading structure to let learners know what the structure of your text or multimedia is. Number three is the redundancy principle, which says that people learn better from graphics and narration than from graphics, narration, and on-screen text. So this is a little bit counterintuitive because most of us would assume that more is more and giving the learner multiple modes of information will benefit them. But really, this superfluous text conflicts with the information being received on the auditory channel and the visual channel, both of which are being used with graphics and narration. Number four is the spatial contiguity principle. Then this one says that people learn better when corresponding words and pictures are presented near rather than far from each other on the page or screen. And so this is pretty simple. It's just saying put your images or multimedia next to the text which describes it. Okay, number five is the temporal contiguity principle. And this one says that people learn better when corresponding words and pictures are presented simultaneously rather than successively. And this goes along with number four, the spatial contiguity principle. And what this is saying is to avoid showing a picture and then text on the next slide of a PowerPoint presentation or vice versa and to keep images and their associated descriptive text together. Okay, so the next one is number six. It's the segmenting principle. This one says that people learn better from a multimedia lesson when presented in user-paced segments rather than as a continuous unit. And this is a familiar concept to a lot of us as well. And a lot of people know it as chunking. And what it's saying is it's better to break up a multimedia lesson into smaller units instead of having one large chunk. The next one is the pre-training principle which says that people learn better from a multimedia lesson when they know the names and characteristics of the main concepts. So what this is suggesting is that you go over the key terms that are going to be used in a lesson before presenting the lesson. That way the learners have familiarity with the terms that you're going to be using. Okay, number eight is the modality principle, which says that people learn better from graphics and narrations than from animation and on-screen text. What it's saying is that if you have graphics and narration, you're giving the learner information into two channels. If you have animation and on-screen text, both of those are coming in through the visual channel only, which is generally going to cause the learner cognitive overload. Number nine is the multimedia principle, which says that people learn better from words and pictures than from words alone. So this is sort of the overarching principle that the research was based on. And I don't know how it ended up at number nine, but that's where it is. What it's saying is pretty clear, just that people learn better from words and pictures than from words alone. Number 10 is the personalization principle, which says that people learn better from multimedia lessons when words are in conversational style rather than in formal style. And this concept is pretty self-explanatory as well, but the research shows that learners respond to a more personal tone. Number 11 is the voice principle, which says that people learn better when narration in multimedia lessons is spoken in a friendly human voice rather than in a machine voice. So I think we've all heard the canned computer robot voice that comes with most personal computers. And the research shows that learners don't tend to respond to that as well as with a human voice. Okay, last one, number 12. This one is the image principle, which says that people do not necessarily learn better from a multimedia lesson when the speaker's image is added to the screen. But what the research has shown is that it's not really necessary to have the speaker's image glued on the screen the whole time. It might be nice to show it briefly in the very beginning to develop a familiarity between the learner and the speaker, but having it up for the entire lesson is not necessary. Okay, so I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight into the 12 principles of multimedia learning. And there are a lot more to these and a lot more research to discover. But I just wanted to give you some quick tips on how to put these principles into action in your multimedia lessons. Thank you.